What's good, planet? It's energy. I'm here to bring you another energy reading. In this reading, I'm going to be communicating with the universe on your behalf to see what is the next chapter in your life. In love, career, and spiritually, what is going to be happening next in your life? So I have four different cards that you guys can choose from. Some of you, I'm hearing that you're going to be closing the whole book. It's not even a chapter. It's a whole book. It's a whole new story that you're going to be rewriting. So if you guys were drawn to this reading, it's not by coincidence. I do believe the universe has a message when it comes to the next chapter of your life and what you can be expecting in your love life, in your career, and also spiritually what you can be expecting. If you guys are ever looking for anything I have going on, you guys can check the description box down below and also the footer. So I'm very excited to jump into this reading. All right, in this reading, I'm going to have four different cards for you guys today. I know that's a little different, but I was feeling very inspired. And like I said, I've been really following my intuition when it comes to these readings. And when I don't, I learned very quickly that it wasn't my intuition. So if you guys are getting this reading, it is because I'm truly inspired to give it to you. Um, if you guys are looking to book a reading, I only have one link, check that down below. If you're looking for rare readings, that's at the tarot chest. If you're looking for mentorship, anything that has to do with connecting to the universe spiritually, I'm probably going to be the oracle for you. So in this message, I'm going to be channeling very enlightening messages about the next chapter in your life, making sense of it all as well. So I have four different cards that you guys can see that you can choose from. Each card has a different energy, has a different frequency behind it. So that means that the reading is for you. All right, let's hop into the reading. Card one, if you were drawn to the orange card, the orange reddish card, then this is a message for you in the next chapter of your life. All right, let's start out with just your love life. Let's get a card for your love life in the next chapter or book in your life. Card one. Mm, 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 mm. Yes, 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 yes. Lots of pleasure. Lots of pleasure for you, card number one, if you guys are here. All right, lots of pleasure. It's no coincidence. The sacral chakra, the root chakra is on fire. We have temperance, balance, and harmony. And we also have the hermit. So this would mean a reconciliation with yourself. So in the next chapter of your life, I do see you bringing more balance and harmony within yourself. And I also see you could be a Sagittarius. You do not have to be because we have temperance here. So there is some balance I'm seeing in your love life that is required with just balancing yourself. I see that it's you could be in hermit mode. You could be going into hermit mode, but what I'm seeing is that it's very important for you to be in a state of joy. Uh, for, for whatever reason, spiritually, it's very important that you're connected to your passions and your joy. And in that sense, pleasure is very important is what I'm hearing. Pleasure is very, very important. This is what I've been saying a lot of the time. So your sacral chakra, the creative chakra, this is also where you will notice birthing happens and creating actual human beings. So pleasure, it is through pleasure that you are actually creating one of the most significant creations, which is human beings. And you're doing this through pleasure. So it's very important I'm seeing um, in your relationship that you have balance with yourself and how much you're giving to yourself and how much you're giving to others. This is what's happening in your love life. You're learning a balance. Let's go, go ahead and confirm why is temperance here for their love life for the next chapter in their life. All right. The Empress. Yeah. So I'm also seeing that you could have been spending a lot of time getting to know yourself or you are getting to know yourself. I'm seeing a lot of confidence coming back to you. A lot of beauty, feeling good about yourself on the inside and out. Your love life is going through a huge transformation in this next book in this next chapter of your life you're going to be way more balanced with yourself you're going to be receiving from your connections differently is also something that i'm hearing because you've restored balance within yourself harmony within yourself you have two major arcanas coming out for your first two cards which tells me you have been going through very significant spiritual changes so these may be things that are happening that you don't see with your physical eye, but somehow they're affecting your physical world. So the Empress is coming in to restore beauty and abundance. So you are meant to have and feel an overwhelming sense of beauty for yourself. This is the place where I feel like you're reaching or you're shifting into having just complete admiration for yourself. How you feel about yourself is what you're going to attract in others is what I'm hearing. So this is very important in your relationship, in your connections, how you feel about yourself, 
how you treat yourself is also setting an example for the people that are coming into your life. So huge transformational changes in your love life, in your connections, in your relationships. And they are better being balanced when you are connected to your true self, your authentic self, when you are being your true self. And the empress is just, once again, she's also a mother. So some of you guys could be um, wanting to have children or maybe thinking about children or if not, just having a lot of, once again, creative energy could be just creating through passions or literal creation through having just thinking about children. So you're coming up as an empress, which is motherly spirit, lots of feminine energy being restored back to you, nurturing yourself, um, taking care of yourself, body, mind and soul. This is what's bringing harmony and it's also helping you attract what you truly desire in your love life. Let's see what this is. What is it that they're attracting next in their love life in the next chapter? Thank you. Spiritual quest. Yeah, that's crazy. So your love life, your partner is connected to your spiritual quest. They're on the same path as you. Take it or leave it, whether you're in a relationship or not. I always tell you guys this. I can only tell you what I see. And if it matches who you're with, then you're with that person. If it doesn't, then you could be attracting that. So those of you, when it comes to your love life and your love connection, the overall energy here is your spiritual quest, which, like I said, you have two major arcanas, which are spiritual cards, spiritual high, and you've also gotten temperance. So you're going through um, alignment with yourself so that you know your truest desires so that you can get them. You're getting closer and closer. Each relationship you get in, you're getting closer and closer to finding that match. The match is the person on the same frequency as you. So this is, you can't miss them on your spiritual quest. You cannot miss them on your spiritual quest. So this is also something, and then you're changing, you're becoming the empress. So we have four queens in the deck, you're the empress, which means you embody all of that. So that would mean the queen of pentacles, embodying wealth, embodying abundance, embodying financial stability for yourself. Queen of Swords sticks up for themselves, speaks their truth, is not afraid to lead themselves, has a good, healthy balance of masculine energy, meaning they can lead, themse lead themselves, they can take care of themselves, they can think for themselves, they're, they're strong-willed, okay? And then we also have the Queen of Cups, very intuitive, very intuitive, connecting. It's like you're a jack of all trades is what I'm hearing, but you must see this within yourself, restoration of how you see yourself is also something that I see happening in your next chapter of your life. So, and then the last one is going to be the queen of wands, which is passion, energy, creativity. And that's what you were drawn to out of all four cards is basically the sacral chakra, which tells me in your love life, it's about to start getting spicy is what I'm hearing in the next chapter of your life. It's about to start getting spicy. All right, so that's what I have for your love life. Now let's look at your career. All right, we have the Ace of Acorns and we also have the Six of Feathers, both coming out in the reverse. All right, transition insight, creative force and confidence. So these both are in the reverse and we have the Eight of Crystals. Some of you feel like you not, might not be an expert just yet. You might not have an ex enough expertise. This is actually something that could be preventing you from moving forward in your career because you actually do have enough expertise and enough knowledge to get into the next field in your life is what I'm hearing. So the Ace of Acorns and the Six of Feathers, let's get one confirmation card on why these are both coming up in reverse. There's a need to transition the way that you think so that you can manifest something more tangible. It's coming uh, again with the Ace of Acorns, this is gonna be creative energy, spark, passion, wherever you're confident, what do you know the most of? You're confident talking about it, you're confident speaking about it, you're confident doing it because you love it, you enjoy it, it's easy for you so much that you could be overlooking it. All right, is what I'm getting. Nine of shells and the 10 of acorns, responsibility and dedication. So something that I'm also seeing is that you have a lot of dedication when it comes to your work, when it comes to your career, and sometimes even with the RAM, that perseverance not, is not always good. Because if you're really determined, that could mean that you're 
it could be sneaky because you could be so much in your ego that you're determined to make your plan work and it, it only prolongs the process because you're so determined to make it happen when it's not aligned. So what I'm hearing is motivation, determination, put all of that aside and follow what is feeling most fulfilling, okay? Because I see that you have a wish come true. The nine of shells is here. The nine of cups is here. But the issue is, is that you may not be seeing it because you're so focused on one direction. So in the next chapter of your life, I see a new path trying to emerge. This path is setting you up for more of a creative path. Once again, sacral chakra, it's allowing you to create whatever that is. Um, all of your creations are worthy is what I'm hearing. It doesn't matter how silly or how minor it may be. All of your creations are worthy. You must feel confident of this. This is what you're transitioning. How you think about yourself and what you have to offer is transitioning, having more confidence in what you have to offer. Also gratitude and fulfillment. So you could be an Aries. You don't have to be, but I'm getting heavy, like fire sign energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. And sometimes it's like, go, go, go. And usually that go, go, go is coming from your plan. And what, that's why I'm seeing your wishes coming true in reverse. I'm seeing a need to transition. I'm seeing a need for insight to come in so that you can have more success in whatever it is you're meant to do. Let's see what that is. What is it that they're working towards when it comes to their career and money and finances? Because we have the wish come true once again in reverse. I see spirit is trying to deliver something. So ease up a little bit of your control and your plans when it comes to manifestation. Leave room for the universe, basically, okay? And sometimes if you're just going, you, you're missing the signs. You may be missing the signs. There's an easier path that's aligned with your passions and a creativeness that is gonna come very natural to you. This is not something you're gonna have to force. Energetic movement, once again. You do have a gift of perseverance, which is why I said, are you an Aries? Are you the Ram? Are you fire energy? You don't have to be, but there's a lot of perseverance energy. So once you make your decision, it's like things happen very quickly. So that's why it's like, just take a step back, take a little bit more time to align and then go towards it and imagine you'll never fail. So it's like, just take a little bit more time for the insight to come, for things to be aligned. It's like, wait for the universe to deliver. Expect for the universe to deliver. Like, I'm not paying for it. The universe is paying for it. I'm not. The universe is, okay, universe, I have a desire. Ooh, I really want this chair. I really want this car. I really want this house. I really want to go on this vacation. I really want this. I really desire this. I can feel it. I'm so inspired by this. So that means at that moment, it's already done. You, that, that's actually signs of confirmations that all your desires and passions are actually aligning perfectly. So energetic movement, orange, not surprised that you were drawn to the orange and red card. So this is a lot of fast forward movement once you make your decision. It's like, and you won't be able to slow down in a good way. This is not something that you're going to have to be determined. It just kind of takes off on its own. All right. So that's what's happening in your career. Now, what's happening spiritually in the next chapter in their life for card one? Five of crystals spiritually. Nine of acorns, okay? We have two cards in reverse. Why is this? Five of pentacles and the nine of wands. So I'm feeling like spiritually this is good news because we have the nine of acorns, which is my wounded warrior. This is my, this is my wounded warrior because they are so persevering that they just, it's like you can go through every door just as fast as you can, or you can be intuitive, take a step back and say, hmm, which door feels right? And you can choose the right door the first time or the second time. And you actually are saving energy, saving energy in the sense of allowing yourself to free, free up some of that energy of having to do it yourself or having to figure it out. That kind of kills the moment is what I'm getting also. And so, yeah, we have perseverance on the card here, perseverance and power. So this is in reverse for spirituality. So the next chapter is for you to not have to work so hard spiritually. Let the universe in with the spiritual quest. 
let the universe deliver, let the universe pay for it. Six of shells, yes. Joy and sentiment. So a lot of your joy is being centered around your uh, connection to spirit and just simply feeling good, your intuitiveness playing out, seeing things that you you know to be true and you're gonna actually see them happen. And why do we have the five of pentacles in reverse? Persistence, new possibilities, yeah. So your persistence, once again, just be open to the universe to come into your plans is what I'm getting. Now I have a spiritual card here. Look at this that came up. We have breath of the cosmos, my will be thy will, micromanaging the universe, yes. So less control so you can feel better about doing things. If anything, you are desiring to feel the feeling of relief and the feeling that everything is already done and in your favor. That feeling, if you can actually feel it, not just say it, like everything is done, everything is destined for my highest good, it is already done, it's in my favor. I can't mess this up, I can't miss this, it's perfectly aligned for me. And the more you feel it, the more you realize it is not your job to make anything happen. And if you are, then you're trying to micromanage the universe. And this is where the stress comes. This is where the lack of energy comes. So once again, I'm hearing sleeping, getting more rest in this next chapter because you realize things are getting done. So there's a, there's a lot more ease in this next chapter for you where you don't have to micromanage the universe. You can trust the universe to show up and understand that the universe's will is your will. It's connected. The universe knows your will and what you desire more than you do. Okay, and let's see. Lastly, who are you becoming in this new chapter? Raven, you have a higher calling. Your name could be Raven, but we have Raven here, shaman. So you have a higher calling. You are shaman, which means you do walk with spirits. It says you are a creator and a magician. Use your gifts for good. There is power in your wisdom and words. Connect with the elemental spirits and glide through the void. Claim your place as keeper of the mysteries. You're a shaman and you're very authentic. So in this next chapter, you're going to be exploring more of your spiritual side, more of your spiritual gifts, because you're actually going to see them happening. You're going to see in your next chapter that you've manifested everything that you've desired. You've manifested it. You're going to actually have to expand. You're going to have to actually have more desires. I'm hearing add a thousand more desires. Keep expanding yourself. So reach out to your tribes in need. Family gives you strength. Love your uniqueness. You're full of surprises. Break free from others' expectations and just be yourself. So in this next chapter, it's centered around spirituality. Spirituality is to just simply be yourself, is truth, is the light. And when you're authentically being yourself, you're going to authentically attract other people just like you. Your tribe is also shamans. Your quest is very spiritual and it is aligned even in your financial, in your finances for you to do something that's very passionate to you. And passion is spiritual. That feeling of excitement is spiritual is what I'm getting for you. So if you guys chose card number one, this is what you can expect in your next chapter. It's a very shamanic quest that you're going to be going in. And this is the unknown. The spiritual quest is unknown. And that's what makes it exciting. That's what makes it a mystery is that when it's unknown, anything is possible. So while, while your eyes are closed, while it's dark, while it's in the unknown, imagine what you do desire to happen because the unknown is actually a blank space. The, okay, the unknown is actually a blank space for you to choose your desires. Once you know it, it's definite. When you don't know, it's indefinite, meaning anything is possible. So that's what they're saying. You're going to be expanding greatly, even in your finances, but it's starting spiritually first. So if you guys chose card number one, this is your reading. Definitely check out the link below. Definitely check out the tarotchest.com if you guys are looking for more deep, rare readings. You can find that there. In the meantime, I'm going to move on to card two. Card two, if you were drawn to the purple card, this is your reading for what you can expect next in your love life in your finances, in your career, and also in your spiritual endeavors. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull a few cards, starting out with your love life, just seeing what you can expect in this next chapter or this next book, all right? Purple card, third eye chakra, crown chakra, 
Thank you. So we have the Knight of Feathers. Action, focus. Let's see what's here for their love life. What's next, happening next in their love life if they're here? Purple card. Justice in reverse. Let's go ahead and clarify. All right, so we have some changes in your love life happening. We have the emperor here, Aries energy on the board. So some of you guys, emperor, you could be the emperor. Okay, the first card that I had was the empress. You could be the emperor. We have the knight of feathers. We have some type of action that's coming in here with the knight and justice in reverse. I'm definitely seeing that you are raising your standards when it comes to your relationships in general. With the emperor, I'm feeling that you're in a completely different energy. I see that you have someone around you. Let's get some clarity here. The shadow. Self-empowerment, ambition. Okay, so the devil, Capricorn energy, you don't have to be. We have Libra, Capricorn, and Aries all on the board here. So you have a significant change in your life that is happening. And I'm definitely sensing that you are overcoming a shadow aspect of yourself, becoming more confident in what you have to offer, specifically what you have to offer. I'm seeing something speeding up here, but I'm seeing the justice, which, which is truth and clarity. There's some type of justice or truth that has to be revealed in your love life. And I'm seeing that with the shadow card here, that is something is going to be revealed very soon. You're becoming more confident in who you are. You're becoming more confident in what you have to offer. And I see with the devil here, there could be some temptations around you that are presenting themselves in this next energy with the devil and the knight of, of feathers. This could be coming in very soon here, but the justice card is I'm sensing that with the purple, you have now gained a sense of awareness. So letting go of regret, everything that you've went through in your relationships is actually taught you how to be more aware, how to see and how to be on the lookout because you do have people that are, you're gonna be attracting in your aura, in your energy field, but I'm sensing with the devil card here, they are not exactly aligned with your truth, but there is, some type of ambition behind them. I'm hearing that you've gained enough clarity and insight and awareness now to be able to choose who you wanna fall in love with in a sense. Um, if you feel someone is not aligned with what it is that you are true to and what it is that you desire, in a sense, being challenged to let that go, to not settle in your love life is the is the next chapter is not settling so let's see what is it that you're actually moving towards in the next chapter of your love life the next chapter of their love life who chose the purple card the next chapter in their love life thank you will be acceptance so accepting what is not working and allowing what will to come forward what is meant for you will be very easy will be very effortless there's a need to just accept what is not working because it's not aligned and to choose something that feels more aligned and easier. What's meant for you will be very easy and not to force anything that's not with the shadow side. Okay, I want to get one more confirmation as to why justice is here for your love life. There, it, it seems complicated. Next chapter in their love life for the purple card. Awakening, renewal, yes, judgment. All right, so making decisions is gonna be very important, which is why you were drawn to the purple card. The purple card allows you insight and access into the third eye chakra, being able to see spiritually, okay? Even though you might not be seeing physically, it allows you to see spiritually what is not aligned. And you have to accept and trust that what you're seeing you're seeing for a reason, and this is specifically in your relationships. There's a, there's a renewal in your love life that is happening, and it's awakening you and bringing more enlightenment on what it is that you actually desire. So because of that, we do have the, the shadow, so we do have some fears, some doubts, maybe if it comes to releasing someone, 
or not giving in to someone. That's the two that I'm getting in your next chapter. Releasing someone, not giving in to someone because there's no justice here. Awakening the peacock, you know what you're worth. You know, you know what you're worth and you're opening your wings very slowly. But I'm just sensing that when you open your wings, those who are intimidated, let them go. I don't know why that's coming through, but you should be able to shine. And the awakening is saying that there is someone who is perfectly aligned for you. And this is the shadow is letting go of your shadow self. Your old version of you could be holding on to a person, could be on, holding on to the concept of love, even if it's not a person. So take it how it resonates. All right. So there in your love life, there's a need to accept what you're seeing. OK, you're awakening to the truth and you are becoming more confident to be the peacock. This is all about confidence, embracing and again, Peacocks stand out. I don't know if you've ever seen them in real life. They literally stand out. They're very colorful. They're very vibrant. So in this next chapter, you're being gifted the ability to see who is actually aligned with what you truly desire. And don't settle, okay? This is gonna be the hardest thing is not to give in with the shadow, not to give in, to let it go. And so you have people coming in, not to give in, and you have people going not to give in by keeping them. So this is a very interesting message if you guys were drawn to this the next chapter in your life. Let's see what is here for the purple card in their career. Thank you. In your career, we have the nine of crystals working towards some type of independence, financial independence. So this is my uh, financial independent card. And we also have the moon, Pisces energy, perception and imagination. And we have the tower. Scorpio energy, release and revelation. So there's a lot of releasing and a lot of things that you're going to be seeing. You have a lot of options coming to you when it comes to your career and making money. Making money is not going to be the challenging part, but this is not what it's about. It's about fulfillment. So the moon is that there are more, more desires underneath the finances in the money, in the career. What is this all for? right? What is this all for? So the tower is here. So I definitely see that something is going to be happening, appearing to be falling apart, which is always falling into place with the tower. And it's for you to release it because it's in the way. Understand you really have to trust. If you're here, your word in the next chapter is trust. Trust in the universe, trust in something higher that is guiding you through your intuition and through what you see, through truth. Never be afraid of truth, okay? So if something is falling apart, that means it's been time for it for you to walk away. And now the universe has intervened by tearing, by, by tearing it down for our good. From a higher perspective, if you were watching a mouse go through a maze and they kept going through the same door, because you can see from the higher perspective, right? They can't. They're inside of this model. So it looks like this wall is very high, but we are looking down. So we are able to see this is also your higher self. So when you're guiding the mouse, the mouse cannot communicate with you. You can't say, hey, mouse, don't go that way. It'll keep going and going, persistently going into one direction. And then what you will do, God to the mouse, you will move something and the mouse can either sit there and say, oh my gosh, a tower moment. What is happening? Why did this happen? Or you can just go in the direction that is paving the path after the tower seems to fall. The tower being your plan, the tower meaning something unexpectedly happening. So the mouse doesn't realize the us, we're saying, okay, the mouse keeps going in the same direction. Let's go ahead and throw something this way. Oh, no, the mouse is still going in the same direction. So when the tower card comes, it's the 16th major arcana. You've passed the hermit, the hangman. That means you've just been going, going, to going with your check engine light. That's what it means, right? And so then the universe has to put a wall, literally hit a wall for you to just stop and take a step back. And we think these are tower moments but they're actually in our benefit. Tower moments could be breakups, losing a job, losing a job, the job lost you, okay? Um, so losing a job, uh, losing a car, car breaking down, bad things happening, people passing, whatever the case may be. 
these towers, you're meant to release it because everything has revelation. So there's a higher perspective. You have two major arcanas in your finances, which tells me that there is huge changes in, in, in that you're not seeing with the moon. You're not seeing, oh, why is this happening? You're just seeing what's in front of you, like the mouse. But little does the mouse know, this tower, us destroying that door, now you can actually see the path. Now it's clear. So the mouse will never understand that from that perspective. And just like us, our human minds do not understand why we try something, try something, try something, and it doesn't work. How do you know it's not working? It doesn't feel good. It's that simple. So, so there is a sense of security and abundance, and it's in reverse. Let's see what it is that you're actually going towards in your career and your finances. Obviously, financial independence with the nine of, nine of crystals perseverance that's crazy so yeah you could have been drawn to card one because that was there that was there even perseverance with generosity just giving 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 until you learn everyone has the same connection to universe as you so don't feel bad if you're gonna give feel good to give do it from a place of feeling good not because you feel bad so even if you're persistent in, in generosity, it's like even that could be a block because it's preventing you from sustaining and receiving what it is that you're actually putting out um, and receiving it back. There should be an equal give and take, equal give and take, even in your relationships, even in what you're doing in your career, equal give and take, not just time for money, right? Your emotions play a very big part. And so the moon here is that you're going to see more of your what you're here to do when you imagine yourself being financially free what are you doing let your imagination answer that for you what are you doing so let's look at what's going to be happening in your spiritual which we're already seeing huge spiritual changes already in your love life spiritual just means sudden major events so major shifts in your relationships major shifts in your career with the tower it's a huge major shift which is always for good, always for good. And it's a, if it's a tower, it's the universe making a way. But we think that, oh my gosh, this was the, that was your path. But that path, the universe knows, would have taken you 77 years to get to abundance versus the path that I now have you on. It's like, we have to trust. We have to trust something greater than ourselves or you will not be in a place of peace, okay? Crazy, we got this for the first one. You are not for everyone. Embrace your weirdness. Face your north, true north. Face your authenticity. Face your truth. You are not for everyone. You are coming up as an emperor, okay? You're coming up as someone who is in charge, who is very independent, very focused, very stable, has it together. If not, this is your next chapter. This is your next book. See yourself as the emperor, the emperor, right? It just even sounds like authority. It sounds like someone who is not meant for everyone. So champions don't train the same way regular people train. Champions don't think or see the same way that regular people do. So of course you're not for everyone, right? So your spiritual path is leading you to hidden secrets about you, about you and to trust the timing and to trust that everything is already aligned so you can have a sense of relief. So let's see what's going on in their spiritual world in the next chapter. Four of acorns, comfort and community. So yeah, you could definitely be meeting other people. Four of wands, this is beautiful. So coming in harmony with yourself. So this is good, D definitely like card one. Coming into harmony with yourself, feeling good, feeling like you can trust something higher. This is actually allowing you to feel good and feel at ease knowing that it's already destined for me. That's what I'm hearing. It's already destined for me. So there is a sense of comfortability that with you and the universe guiding you that I see that you're getting to that you've never been before. And this is allowing you to take bigger leaps of faith. And you're going to take bigger leaps and bigger leaps. Spiritual, we have eight of shells in the reverse. Quest renewal. So we have eight of shells. So there's some type of resistance. resistance here so what i have is reevaluation and soul searching that is the next chapter what is bringing what is unfulfilling 
four of shells. The four of cups to me is like if someone were like, oh, how is your food tasting? Oh, it's a four out of 10. It's a four out of 10. That is not good. At the bottom, we have 10 of shells, well-being and blessings. It's time for you to focus on what you truly desire, what's going to bring you emotional fulfillment. Starting there and letting everything be molded around it, like I just said previously in the last video. Um, and so what is unfulfilling? It's time to do some soul searching. The purple is all about sovereignty, all about royalty. If you desire it, it is saying a lot of who you are. So don't judge what you desire, no matter how big it may seem. Do not judge what you desire, no matter how big that may seem. Soul searching, who am I? What lights me up? Is this truly aligned? A lot of this I'm seeing in your next chapter is, is this aligned? Does this make me feel good? Is this my desire or am I just doing it out of survival? This is what's happening in your next chapter. It's like your life coaching yourself. Your higher self is coming through life coaching you and life coaching you to where? Fulfillment, peace, compassion, and companionship. Also with another is what I'm getting. With yourself, but also with another. All right, so who are you becoming? The purple card for the next chapter in their life. Who are they becoming? <laughs> That's crazy. Whoa. Whoa, universe. You got the peacock. I was just saying that. Look at this peacock. Man, you got to see a peacock in real life. It is something so magnificent. It's like they stand out. Even flamingos are coming through too. That could be something for you. You were born to shine and inspire. So you're getting ready to see yourself in peacock form, in your brightest form, in your best form, even through imagination. It's starting with your imagination. Practice humility to avoid jealousy. So yes, some people may be jealous. You're the emperor. It seems like you have everything in this next chapter. Even if you don't think you do, you're probably like, I barely, pff, I barely pay this. I barely pay. People see you as the emperor. Be grateful for life and more things will come. So not being grateful because of the universe. Like, I'm grateful universe. And the universe is like, let me see who is grateful today. Grateful, grateful, grateful. No, grateful is for you to feel good. Be f while it's coming because you don't want to feel good when it arrives. You don't want to wait till it arrives to feel good. So be grateful. This allows you to feel good now. That's, that's the gift of gratitude. We're thinking, oh yeah, let me be grateful for the universe and I'll get some points. Be true to yourself and recognize your brilliance. So I'm definitely sensing that this is about waking up to who you truly are, seeing yourself, seeing the truth of your relationships and it's even if it's bad news it's good news because if this isn't the one or this isn't the best friend or this isn't the partner or this isn't the job that means there's something better that means that and i know that that could be tough when you have to let things go but they're not even fulfilling you so you think you want to keep them and that's why i say what do you really desire so this is a huge wake up call for you, card two, if you guys were drawn to this, what I'm sensing for you is the next chapter of your life is some serious awakening and changes. You're going to be more vibrant than you've ever been before. A lot of confidence coming to you with the emperor. You are meant to be an authority. And I also hear that you are meant to be financially free. We talk a lot about this, but you are meant to be financially free and how you're getting there. It looks like the tower is redirection redirection so what is being revealed everything is in your favor remember that all right check the description box down below if you guys want more stuff i'm moving on to card three card three what is happening next in your life we're going to start out with your love life and see what is going to be happening next in your life this next chapter or this next book depending on how you see it next chapter would be a continuation of your past the next book would be the opportunity to choose another story. I don't know why that's important, but card three, that's what I'm getting for you, okay? We have the green card here, a little bit of blue, lots of heart chakra awakening is what I'm getting, obviously, with the green. So let's just see what is here. We have the magician in reverse. <laughs> love life, love life for card three, green. What is next in their love life? Okay, we have two cards in reverse. Let's get one clarifier. Why are the four of swords and the magician 
in this person is not meant for you you to have to find let's go ahead and get another whether you're in a partnership or not take it how it resonates yeah king of crystals all right you are manifesting somebody if you guys chose this card the green card you are certainly manifesting somebody is what i'm getting here with the king of crystals we have courage and commitment so whoever you're manifesting would be king of pentacles the green someone who is very stable family farm kids friends okay you're really you could be really focused on love the magician is here in reverse we're going to get one clarifier why is there magician for love in reverse for the green card in the next chapter three of acorns so some of you guys could have been could be waiting for some time, even if you were in a relationship, maybe you're just, you were waiting for them to change. You're just waiting for a certain level here of reciprocation when it comes to love here. We have foresight and exploration, but I'm just sensing that there's really a need to let this go. And with your magician card in reverse here with the world fulfillment and celebration, I'm hearing it's already done. You already have a person that you are manifesting. If you're in a relationship, Let's get one card if they are in the relationship for the king of crystals. Okay, ace of shells. There's a little bit of, there's your happiness and your abundant fulfillingly and your abundance and emotional fulfillment is in reverse if you're in a connection right now. It could be challenging to manifest something specifically. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read this as if you are a singular person because you certainly are a singular person. Something about self-love, you are the answer you me me self-love loving me and loving me means me deserves myself deserves the best experience in love possible and if you feel like you're with someone right now that is providing that then this would be the person i'm talking about if you do not you would have to be open to a bit of honesty here from a place of love to understand that your heart and your soul will never lie to you when it desires to feel fulfillment you will feel it so honoring the requests of your heart is very important in this next chapter yeah this feels like a chapter more than a book if you guys were drawn to green so there is definitely letting go of things that happened in the past all right we have rest sanctuary so there's a need to lay off of the manifestation of a person lay like just trust that it's already happened because when you feel in that energy, you're basically saying you don't believe it's going to happen or I need to see it or hear more about it for it to happen. There's a sense of letting trust come in from a place of love, trusting the universe loves you so unconditionally that they want to deliver the right person for you that is bringing you this sense of fulfillment. So let's see what it is that you want, that your soul, your higher self wants to attract in your love life because we see that right now there's commitment. You could be in a commitment or you could be desiring a commitment. Those of you who are, who are not in a committed relationship, that's why I'm seeing laying off of the manifestations of a person. We have resting from manifesting and waiting and we're talking about your love life here. Maybe not feeling like you've had the best luck. What is it that they're desiring here in their love life for card three? The green card. Understanding, yeah, like why am I going through this? Why did I go through this? It's really your energy. So the people that you've been attracting are older versions of you and you're desiring just like you are to, to renew, I'm hearing renewal, a renewed version of you so that you can attract a renewed version of either the person you're with or a new person is what I'm getting. So there's a lot of understanding, but you desire to be just, just to have a delighted relationship. This is meant to be easy, fun, all right? So I'm sensing that the commitment is important to you but what should be more important we have the king of pentacles let's just get a clarifier in what they truly want in love understanding what love is wanting to feel love unconditional love in the first place that you're going to feel that other than the universe god is yourself is showing yourself this love is real by you being the example for yourself so this is a lot of self-love self-improvement you are the answer in this next chapter of your book you will be getting like i don't want to say rid but you will be letting go of this old version of you in this next chapter of your life so that you can eventually create a new story 
Okay, so you're a couple of steps away from a new story. So why is this king of pentacles here for their love life? Out of all three so far, you guys have been more of a complica complicated reading when it comes to your love life. Yeah, and that's because look at the energy. Clear your energy. So we have a lot going on around you when it comes to your love life. And it may be hard to see or feel what's true to you when there's so much chaos around you. So understanding may come later, may come after you make the decision. So there's more about understanding who you are as a magician and your willpower and what you're creating and what you're attracting. So when you are love, when you are in the frequency of love, you are attracting love. This is the understanding, more understanding of who you are as a magician, which is why we have it in reverse. So there's, it's, it's not about trying to make this happen. You don't have to try to make this happen. It's already happening for you. A new path in love is trying to emerge here, but we have some blockages. And why do we have blockages? We have to clear your energy. Clearing your energy means clearing anything in your energy field that just simply does not feel good, even taking a step back from it. If it's not lighting you up, if your heart isn't feeling warm, fulfilled, overflowing with love majority of the time, this is communication. You're, the universe communicates with you, card three, through your heart. So let's just see, yeah, this wanted to come out. Ace of feathers, mental clarity and foundation. So yeah, I'm sensing the root chakra, lots of root chakra foundations, founding your relationships on love. So you're in your next chapter, you're going to be receiving a mental clarity about your love life, about why you're attracting who you're attracting. And even then it's like, I'm getting a lot of air sign energy of the need to like study your shadow self, do all this. No, 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 no. Don't get involved in all of that stuff, all right? There is no shadow work to be done if you let go of the old version of you. The shadow work is only necessary if you want to stay the version of you and fix that version of you. So you're choosing a new version, which is actually a new book, a new story. But because you're walking, I'm seeing you taking small steps you're just right now feeling good about changing the chapter in your life. And that starts with just, hey, this is a fresh new chapter. If you can start all over, what would you desire to do? What would your relationship look like? And that should be your foundation with the ace of feathers, a newfounded clarity and understanding is gonna be coming in here to help you change the book, change the story and not just the chapter. All right, so let's look at your finances and let's look at your career and what's gonna be changing in your money for card three, the heart green card. Thank you. We have the queen of acorns. This is good, queen of wands. So you guys could be a fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries. You don't have to be. I'm getting passion and creativity. So the next chapter of your life, lots of passion and creativity, it's coming from what you love. Your heart and what you love is your compass. This is your compass. Now, one thing I'm also realizing is you don't have much major arcanas happening here. Let's get another card. <clears throat> Knight of Shells, yeah. Charm and passion. So you're getting ready to step into another space in your life as a creator, as a creative, doing something you love. It's crazy because I talked about flamingos on the last card and now they're showing up here. So there is some, some type of connection to card two as well with the peacock energy shining, allowing yourself to be bright, allowing your creative side to come through. In this next chapter, you're embodying the queen of acorns. So this is a multitasker, someone who has a lot of creative ideas, who's fired up, who's energetic about certain things in their life, um, certain projects. Let's see what you're energetic about. What's the passion coming from in their, in their finances? The traveler. So you might be able to travel and get paid you may be able to go, you might be going on an adventure that inspires you and brings a lot of passion, some type of trip. We have the fool card here. So you're taking a leap of faith towards your dreams in your next chapter, which is why I feel like let's just change the book. Let's just change the story, let go of the past, let go of all of that and just change the book. 
rather than changing the story. I see you taking a huge leap of faith here with the adventure and the potential card. So you are actually taking a leap of faith towards your dreams, towards your passion. We have two two cards here, passion. You could have been drawn to card one as well. You could be coming from card one. So your passion is actually going to work out here. I see you taking a leap of faith towards that. So let's see what is it that you truly desire here when it comes to their passion and their money and their career. Your passions are your answers to where your most success and abundance and finances are going to flow. It's where your passion is at, is where it's going to flow here. Promises of the future is what I'm hearing coming in. So this is a promise to you. These dreams are promises of the future to you. There's, there's a reason why you're receiving them and you're receiving certain creations. Um, you could be a poet, a writer, a lyricist, an expressor, someone who desires to express. Either way, this is a part of your queen of wands energy. What is it that they truly desire when it comes to their career, finances, and money? Career, finances, and money. Nurture. To take care of others. To be able to provide for others. So start to practice being abundant. Feeling abundant. Seeing your creativity pay off. Start sharing your creative endeavors. That's what's going to happen in the next chapter of your life. You're going to be sharing and nurturing something that you really love, taking a leap of faith towards it, and I see it paying off. Now, what else? You want to be able to provide for others, which tells me, once again, we have enlightenment. There's something here with that purple. Spirituality could be a path of passion for you, maybe cer certain things in spirituality that inspire you. That is a clue. Those are clues. You're going to see that these are clues. Now, nurturing, nurturing what? What you love and what you're passionate about. What sparks of this is going to actually move very quickly is what I'm hearing. Very quickly. Very, very quickly is what I'm hearing. Nurturing yourself is what I'm seeing in the next chapter. Nurturing yourself is a big deal. All right. Not trying to change yourself. Nurture who you already are. Promises of the future. I said that. That's crazy. It came out again. Positive outlook and blessings. You have a lot of blessings coming to you based on your courage, and actually your courage is going to pay off. I'm hearing you will be successful at this. The traveler taking a leap of faith, the knight of shells, something that you're, you love it and you're so passionate about. That's why it's going to work out for you because not everyone is passionate about this as you are. So this is something that I see coming in as well for your promises of the future. So this is good. Let's see what's here for for your spirituality. So yeah, your dreams are coming true in the next chapter of your life, which is why I say change the, change the book because it's not the same story. It's not the same story. It's a whole nother story that you're telling. And so with the zero, even the zero, you're starting from fresh. You're starting all over and anything is possible in that state. What's happening in their spiritual world for the green card for the next chapter? Two of feathers, decisions, okay? Spirituality is gonna be a big part in your life when it comes to making decisions in your life. It's gonna be a big part of your life when you're trying to find direction in your career and in your relationships. So let's see what else is here, two of feathers. All right, it's, I'm also hearing it's not about what's right or what's wrong. What's true will always be right. So what's true to you? What feels real to you? What feels true to you? This is going to help you get out of this five of acorns energy, these challenges, and actually grow, right? It's not about what's right or what's wrong. It's about what's true. What's true will always be right. So that's, that's what I'm hearing here. So there's a higher awareness that is coming in when it comes to just, the, just making decisions. Why spirituality is important. Why following your heart is important. Why is the green card here for the next chapter why were they drawn to this card king of shells harmony and integrity so most of your connection with the universe is coming through your inspirations and your passions this is when you feel most connected to the universe in your next chapter and with the king of shells harmony and integrity this is the third time we've gotten harmony in the spirituality section so making harmony with yourself understanding the old version of you, you're not this version anymore, you let this version go, everything attached to this version must go. So spirituality, we also have the Ten of Feathers, recovery, transformation. We don't really have many major arcanas here. What is here for the 
page of Acorn's discovery. So yeah, there's a deeper discovery and spirituality that I see you're going to be taking in this next chapter of your life, because that's why I said, what is the point of spirituality, right? In, in the most practical sense, it helps us make, it makes the decision for us, right? With our intuition, there is not much to decide when you know what's right for you, what feels true to you. It'll feel right to you. It'll fit, it'll fit like a glove is what I'm hearing. So there's a discovery that you're gonna be having with yourself that's gonna bring you a lot of enthusiasm and some guidance also that's coming in. And we have the wholeness at the bottom, which is crazy because that is it, the heart chakra. All right, so that is crazy. We have the heart chakra coming through finally. So yeah, everything that you're meant to do is meant to be from the heart. And it is through your heart that you're receiving the most guidance. All right, so who are they becoming in this next chapter in their life? Card three, the green card. Who are they becoming? One card for who they're becoming. Thank you. Heron. Patience. Create a place in nature, stillness, and be renewed. Take time alone to find balance. Step confidently towards your purpose. Patience will bring you rewards. So being patient with yourself to open up your heart again, even in love. Uh, patient with yourself to receive the promises of the future because you're getting comfortable receiving in doses before you receive the whole thing. That's also what I'm hearing. We have Pathfinder, release your past, release the old book, start a new journey, start a new book. You are the teacher and help others find their way. There will be challenges, but your soul is strong. Perseverance, there's that word again, is your secret power. You have a love that endures. You've been through a lot. You have a gift of perseverance as well. So when it comes to perseverance, if you pres persevere in what you love to do, you will succeed. But if you persevere in what you think you have to do, you can fail. And that's because perseverance could lead us down the wrong path if we're persistent in our ways. So that's where you have to really be aware of, am I following my heart or am I doing this out of fear? So you are a pathfinder and I believe that you have promises of the future that are being delivered to you. In this next chapter, you're gonna see how much your story and what you've went through has inspired others. So there's something that's gonna inspire you to want to do more when it comes to spirituality in this next chapter. And it's actually fulfilling your heart and warming your heart. What else is here for their spiritual? Spiritual growth for card three. A new earth, a new book. <laughs> So yeah, you're forging, it's happening, keep holding the vision, holding the vision of what? The new book, the new story. Letting go of the old storyline and embracing the new storyline that's centered around love in your heart. Everything should be filtered through love and your heart. That is your guidance. I'm sorry, defensiveness. So letting go, writing past wrongs, uprooting, once again, there is no such thing as being wrong. Every decision you've made has led you here. So when it comes to being wrong, what does that mean? That simply just means not being aligned. But you will see that even the wrong decisions lead you to the right path. So even then, we have to go above defenselessness, okay? So I'm sorry, I'm definitely feeling like there is a deep, a deep level of healing, a feeling worthy of the love you're getting ready to receive from the universe, from others. And you think you've received a lot of love in your life, but you're getting ready to be overflowing with love, love in your relationships, loving what you do. You are living the dream, literally. You're, you're loving life. And, and I'm seeing even your body. So you deserve what you're asking for. You deserve what you desire. And this is where the heart chakra has to be open so that you can receive. So I'm definitely feeling like your next chapter is a love story, a love story. Love is not just with the person. Love is a frequency. It's a vibration that you desire to be in. And I see that this is the next book in your life. So if you guys were drawn to this reading, definitely check out the description box for more stuff I have going on. Like the video, comment down below which deck you guys chose. And I'm going to move on to the last card, card number four.
Card four, this is your reading for the next chapter or book in your life, what you can be expecting in the next chapter. If you guys were drawn to the blue card, obviously the blue represents the throat chakra. So we'll see how this plays a part in your reading today. Let's see what the next chapter looks like in your love life. If they were drawn to the blue card, the fourth card, what does their love lo life look like in the next chapter of their life? What does their love life look like in the next chapter of their life? Okay, this is good. This is good. Okay, okay, okay. So page of shells, intuition, inspiration. So page of shells is also like the puppy love card, eight of acorns energy. Something is coming in very fast here with the eight of acorns. So in your next journey, you do have a king of feather. So this could be a masculine or a feminine energy. Take it how you desire. But in this sense, this person is coming up as a leader. All right. This could also be you. Let's clarify. If this is you, then we'll just get another person. Okay. So yeah, this is you. So you are in a very... When it comes to your love life, I see that you're in a pretty good balance in the next chapter of your life. You're in a pretty good balance. I also see that you could be approaching it from a very logical aspect. There could be someone that you're manifesting around you in your next chapter that kind of sparks something in you because the page of shells to me is giving me just enough to kind of get you connected to love and out of your headspace. So with the eight of acorns energy, something is coming in in your love life. And I do feel like this is a person. Now they're coming up as a page of shells. You're coming up as a king of feathers. So this tells me that you could be older than them. They could be younger. I see that this person's point of view in your life is to inspire you, to make you feel young, to not make things so serious, to not jump into it from a commitment standpoint, but to allow yourself to experience a lot more. So getting out of your headspace is very, very important in your next chapter, is allowing yourself to be led by either your passions, your purpose, which is connected to your intuition, or your heart. So in this next chapter, you are not going to know, because I feel like the more that you know, the more that you're making things finite. When you allow it, everything to be unknown, it remains infinite, meaning anything is possible, anything can happen. So this is why you are getting out of your logic so you can even understand your connections more and, uh, and, and understand how can you understand love. This is very interesting. You could have been drawn to card three. That's all about, that could be the next chapter of your life, literally. This feels like where you're at, where you're going, page of shells, is by just approaching your love life from more of a childlike perspective, more youthful, more playful, more laughter, not as serious, just for the experience. Just allow yourself to have experiences without having to know where it's going. Just allowing yourself that energy to flow in is what I'm getting. So what is it that you're looking for when it comes to your love life? I'm hearing positive outlook having a positive outlook on your love life. Being optimistic has nothing to do with logic. Logic will talk you right out of optimism is what I'm hearing. So you're at being asked to be optimistic about your love life. Blue, splendor. So yeah, there is a huge change that's happening in your love life. And it's I see that the doorways are opening for you to experience relationships and love in an ease way. Love is easy. Remember, love is easy. If you love it, it's easy. And that's why I say, is it hard to go shopping? Like, no, it's, it's easy. It's easy to do what you love to do until your mind comes in and says, but what if the risks, the repercussions? And so this is all logic. And I see that the justice in your love life is happening when you drop the sword, which is the logic and allow yourself to feel good. Ha allow yourself to have good experiences. Maybe you meet someone and they're not the person you're going to marry or be with forever, but it's an experience that you're allowing to happen just so that you can get prepared for what you're asking for. So you're receiving it, like I said also in the last 
card, you're receiving what you desire in doses. Not because the universe is teaching you anything, lessons. It's for you. You have to be open to receiving love. It could be uncomfortable and overwhelming if you're not used to it, if you haven't been receiving much of it. So there's a splendid, and splendor to me just means it's meant to be easy. I'm seeing a positive change in your love life, something that you've been waiting for in a, a while. You could even work with this person. Courage. Okay, the courage to do what? Be vulnerable, the courage to love, the courage to be expressive, the courage to tell, tell people how you feel. Feelings are involved here. Feelings and vibration is what's manifesting everything. And your vibration is made up more than just thoughts. So for you, card four, your next chapter in your life is to allow yourself to be led not just by your mind, but rather your heart, your passions, and your intuition. is what I'm getting. And so you have divine support at the very bottom. This tells me that the universe is actually conspiring for you to meet the right person. Now, if they're in a relationship, card four, page of feathers, exploration, discovery. If you're in a relationship or talking to someone currently, there's more for you to discover and explore in this relationship. Ease off of the seriousness of it and allow yourself to play have fun in this next chapter. Your love life is playful, fun, easy. Not to say that you're not attracting somebody else in your field, okay? Because we have the Knight of Acorns at the bottom. For some reason, spirits like look at the deck page. So you have options that will be coming in your way here. The more that you open yourself up to love, the more options I see are coming in. And they're meant to bring you more of a positive um, experience. Just for you to see it's possible that there are positive experiences out there, that people that you actually connect with exist. They may not be a person you're with for a long time, but they exist, and so allow that to expand your heart. So there's a lot of letting go of logic here. I'm thinking of Doctor Strange here. I don't know if you guys seen that movie, but the doctor, he's super intellectual, but he has to realize it's more than just logic. It's more than analytics, and especially when it comes to love. There's nothing logical about love here all right so let's see what's going to be happening in your career finances for the blue card career and finances for the next chapter in their life love in reverse like i said so love should be the center of many of your choices and what I'm getting is that even choice here, choice and trust, you can trust what you love. You cannot trust your thoughts or your mind. They're always changing depending on what it sees. It's very rarely certain of anything. So if this is something that's happening in your relationships, it's still happening in your career. Doing it because it makes sense. This is a good job that'll pay off and do this. I'm, I'm just saying certain phrases that many people say, this is good for now, and we're completely forgetting what we're even here for. We're here to be in love and explore this earth. The universe is guiding you every step of the way. Even in your career, we have two major arcanas in the reverse. We have the chariot, which is the fastest moving card, in this going in the right direction, we have the eight of acorns, so we have fast movement. We have love coming in. We have career going out. And that's because love is even entering in your partnerships when it comes to your career. Doing what you love is important. Why is that? For card four, the blue card. Why is that? Belonging, relaxation, because it allows you to relax. It allows you to feel good. It allows you to connect with where you belong, which is abundant. You are meant to be abundant, I'm hearing, if you are here. You, you do belong, but you will know where you belong because what's meant for you is easy and effortless. It's like, oh, wow, I fit perfectly here in this parking spot. Oh, wow, this last shirt fits me perfectly. And we think these things are coincidences. So following that feels good all the way because then everything works out. That's not logical. There's nothing logical about that. And so in your career, 
And this next chapter I'm seeing for you too, it's not even a chapter. It's time to close the whole book and to start from a foundation of love and what you love to do. The choice, the best choice for you, because I see that you're going to have, it's like you're starting a new book, but you have many books to choose from. Choose the book where you belong. Choose the book where things are splendid. Everything is perfectly working out. What would that feel like? And then what would it look like? Your career success is meant to be aligned with what you love. Let's go ahead and get some confirmations. We have the, so this is why things are not moving as quickly because it's time to evaluate and soul search what do you love. We have collaboration, productivity. So you could be collaborating in this next, oh, some more support here practically. Maybe support with something that you have. Okay, you could be a director, a leader, or someone in your career field now. If not, this is where you're meant to be. Wherever you are currently, you can feel like you're very secure there. I feel like you just desire to be in a place where you feel like you, you feel good to belong. You feel, and wherever this is, is where your success is in your career. When you feel like you belong, when you connect very, very good and you're excited to go there, these would be clues of feelings of what you should be feeling when you know that you're aligned with what you truly desire. So I do see that there is some type of support coming in here when it comes to your career finances and money for the blue card. What's next in their life? Eight of feathers. So freeing yourself mentally. Having the courage to free yourself from fear-based thoughts, lack thoughts, lack, lack of fear, not having enough, okay? It's, it's really just making harmony with your mind. Pretty soon, your mind will jump on board when things actually start to shift, but that's the, that's the thing with our thoughts is that we have to wait so long for it to jump on board because it relies on what it sees to believe it. And if we wait to see it to believe it, we'll be waiting for a long time because you will be seeing it in your imagination. This is where you should be looking, and imagination has nothing to do with logic. So if you're a logical person, you could really miss this. Your imagination, let's go ahead and get this last card before we get into your, your clarity. Options, rebirth, results. So if you're not seeing results in a career that you're in, results would be fulfillment, joy, inspiration, growth in yourself, feeling like, ah, I'm getting closer to being who I know I'm meant to be. These are feelings and thoughts that you will have naturally when you're aligned with that. But trying to do that to become that is moving backwards. And that's the logical way. Logic is the very last thing. It's the comprehension. So much is happening before it reaches your mind right? There's feelings, there's vibrations. So there's more to explore outside of just logic. Even when it comes to making business decisions, you will see that what you love will pay off more because you will love it so much. You'll naturally do it. No one has to be like, hey, you didn't show up to work today. Hey, you took another vacation, right? Your whole job should be feeling like a vacation. Your whole career, what makes you feel that? What makes you feel excited? This is the sense of discovery of love. Hmm, let me approach it from this perspective. What do I love that would feel good? That I can do every day that's so easy for me. What feels good? And this is actually leading you to success. We have a lot in reverse here. So what is happening in your spiritual life? Spiritually, what is happening in the next chapter and book in their life? Trust the timing. Turn your gaze within. Inner authority, intuition, all paths lead home. Home. I feel like this is me. I'm coming home to myself. That's what coming home means. I feel like myself, my greatest self, my most authentic self. This is the energy that will allow you to manifest what you truly desire. Star brothers, protection, loyalty, safety, and trust. So I see that you could definitely be meeting other people and having support coming in in this next chapter. It looks very supportive. 
It looks like the people surrounding you are very supportive. One more card for the blue card. Star bathing, light body, transformation, jump in, activation. So you will be going through a spiritual activation here. Kind of like Doctor Strange. If you haven't seen that movie, you should watch that when you have time. You are going through a spiritual activation. Let's see what the spirituality has. Two of acorns, insight. So receiving clarity, understanding spirituality more, feeling it more. Two of shells, unity and harmony. That's crazy. I think every spiritual deck on every card in their spiritual row got harmony. So becoming one with your true self, becoming one with the universe is also what's connecting you to love. Look at this. You're meant to meet a soulmate. Everything is connected through love and how you feel, which could have been avoided because you're very logical and a very brilliant person. But there's got to be balance here is what I'm getting. So love soulmate you may even meet a friend or a soulmate that actually inspires you to dive deeper into your spirituality here soon and we have the wheel here change in possibility so this is destined for you it's destined for you to become closer to your loved ones whether you're in a relationship or you're not it's uh, it's it's destined for you in your spirit so you're going to see that what's destined and meant for you is effortless and easy there's nothing you have to do it's just meant for you what are they working towards in spirituality enlightenment that's crazy so you guys could definitely be drawn to the purple so you're going through many different chapters it's like each card is a chapter here and the enlightenment is you are going to have a lot of realizations and revelations about what this is the world is vibrational it's responding to how you feel so that has nothing to do with logic and logic plays a very small part in the way you think could affect how you feel what you eat affects how you feel what you dress your body, your avatar, can affect how you feel. The music you listen to can affect how you feel. So this is a very fragile spirit, spiritual vibration here that we're talking about. This is not logical or analytical, and, it's, and you can't think yourself into a vibration. All you can do is focus on feeling good and use that as your compass of feeling aligned. So if you guys were drawn to the card four, this is your message and what spirit has for you in the next chapters of your life. Huge revelations on who you are. Huge crown chakra moments. So aha moments, waking up moments. And it's leading you directly towards who you truly are. And you should feel like I'm home. I found myself. Whether it's in your career, in your love life, or within your own self. There is a lot of harmony being restored in yourself. You will become your biggest fan versus your biggest self-sabotager because that voice in your head eventually will become at one with your heart. And that's when the fun happens. So if you guys were drawn to the fourth card, the blue card, this is your message in the next love, life, your career, and what you could expect spiritually in your life. If you're drawn to another card, feel free to go listen to that one as well. In the meantime, like the video, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next Pick a Card reading. I'm out.